allow me to search for you. Yes, I'm not going to do that. I, I can't hear what you're saying. I'm sorry, it's a no, sir. Come here! No, sir. Y'all want to put y'all's hands on me? I have not done anything. Listen, I have not done nothing wrong, sir. What is the problem? Huh? Why are y'all harassing me? Hello guys, illegal searches and fatal arrests await us in today's episode. As is tradition, I am really asking for your support. Even one dollar would be greatly appreciated. Above, I am broadcasting everyone who has helped me. Thank you, and let's get started. Yeah, how you doing, Good sir? Good, man. How about you? I'm doing fine. I'm not really See? part of this traffic stop. I don't have nothing to do with this. Y'all stopped him for a brake light. This has nothing to do with me. Okay, just relax. All right, I'm relaxed. I'm just I'm perfectly relaxed. I just don't like the police because my rights have been violated several times. Furthermore, I don't know why they want to keep asking me questions. I'm just trying to get my mother a plate lunch. It's Father's Day, and we're being harassed because we're trying to find the plate lunch place. I don't know why that it was so important for them to stop us and ask Cowboy to get out the car past asking him, what the hell that is, you know what I'm saying? These cops, I've asked them not to further harass me, not to further implicate me in their traffic stop. I don't want to be bothered with this. I don't like the police. They're always rude to me. They're always shitty to me. They always have been shitty to me. There's no reason I want to have anything to do with these people. I mean, I have no clue why they want to harass us. They just keep wanting to harass us further. All right. Yeah. No, I'm not hopping out the car. I've told you I'm not involved in no okay. traffic stop. So I ain't got, can you get your supervisor? I'm showing this video from the beginning, so I don't know where the driver is at this point. But the man with the camera is sitting in the passenger seat. That's important to note. And you know, I completely understand his feelings. When the cop at the beginning said, relax, I immediately knew uh, it was too early to relax. I don't have an odor of marijuana. I don't even own this vehicle. This has nothing to do okay. with me. Nothing. Are you exit the vehicle willingly? Listen, y'all can look, hold on. I tell you what, y'all can y'all can if I know my rights. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna violate my rights, put hands on me, whatever. I've already been beat up by the police before and sued already. So look, I've not done nothing wrong. I just asked him for a ride to get a plate lunch okay. for my mother. I'm not I'm not doing Please this. Exit the vehicle. No, sir. Y'all wanna put y'all's hands on me? I have not done exit the vehicle. Listen, right I've not done nothing wrong, sir. What is the problem? Why are y'all harassing me? And the following video looks more like a Hollywood bad cop movie. Uh, but unfortunately for Eddie Arizari, it was real life and his last uh, encounter with the cops. See more in our new story. This is textbook a situation where this would be a less lethal option. What you are seeing now is the very moment police fatally shot 27-year-old Eddie Arizari. The Irizarry family posted a video from an outdoor camera that shows video of Eddie's car being parked. Then the police arrived and as you can see the sirens were turned off. Officer Mark Dial can be seen getting out of his patrol car and firing repeatedly at point-blank range for several seconds. The car doors are closed but the window is up. Most importantly, the footage is the exact opposite of what police initially claimed happened. The report stated that Eddie got out of the car and lunged at police officers with a knife. What about what you just saw could ever be confused as he got out of the car and lunged at police officers? I think this cop is mentally unstable. She shoots at point blank range without warning or explanation and then blatantly lies in his report. I think uh, people like that should get serious treatment. According to the man's father, law enforcement has not contacted Irizarry's family to provide any information about the investigation or to provide them with additional details about the case. But the family is certainly demanding fair punishment. This officer really took someone very special to us. <laughs> and I just want to pay for what he did. Officer Mark Dial, who discharged his weapon during a traffic stop, had been placed on restricted leave after the August 14th shooting that killed Eddie Irizarry. Commissioner Danielle Outlaw said she has suspended Dial with the intent to dismiss him at the end of 30 days. The body-worn camera footage made it very clear that what we initially reported uh, was not actually what happened. And the next search I would like to discuss with you. It seems to me that it's illegal, but perhaps uh, specifically in this case, you can say that the search was uh, justified. Let's look at it uh, together. Are those lost? What's hey, I saw you reaching down in the car and you kind of veered over in the lane. Everything okay? Yeah, fine. Go and get a haircut. I got you. I'll tell you what, man. Just 
you know, out of the concern for the lane, just trying to make sure everybody's. Yeah, I, I don't know, know when I've done that. Attention, man. I would hate to. to I was trying know, to light a cigarette like that and end up was, in an accident because you had your head down. No, nah, I was trying to light a cigarette and that uh, that uh, flame was lighter. I can't see the flame, so I don't, oh, I got you. So I'm you looking at the end of the cigarette. Lighter. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. You have your driver's license, registration, and insurance. I do always. Where are you going to get your haircut today? Larry's. Larry's barbershop. I'm gonna go get a, a nice ball fade home. Home. This is a rental car, so let's see what's in here. Hey guys, why are you in a rental? My truck, man. You been in an accident the, recently or something? Man, the whole damn gum rear view mirror on the driver's side was a trailer, and it had the you know those filler sticks they stick out in the back so the boat can you know you can see the guy is man they things were at like a 22 and a half degrees. It was way over my lane out there on Alvin's Ferry. This is a typical situation where a cop has been nice to you to put your guard down, but in reality. As you realize, he's not doing it out of uh, genuine kindness. Whacked it right off. I just bought this Yukon. Here, sorry. I'm sitting here holding and talking. But anyway, so it's just a little thing. His, his insurance company's paying for it. Family? Yes, sir. Real quick question. Any weapons in the vehicle I need to know about? No. Any narcotics in the vehicle? No pills, no weed. You ain't ever been in trouble for anything? You got my license. I got you. And nothing serious, though. But it depends on what you call serious. Nothing violent. No. I mean, yeah, I got. I, I, I was drugs, like No, that. I got arrested for uh, assault, but it got thrown out. I got you. Domestic assault or just assault? No, I was a uh, domestic. Me and my cousin was arguing. Uh, I got you. Uh, anyway. But it ain't. But you're not on probation or parole right now. No, That's what I'm that. getting at here. Mm -hmm. All right, just hang tight for me, okay? Roger that. All right, sir. We did. I looked you up, okay? You had a couple other things, okay? Just with the fact that you had some cocaine history or whatnot. Man, that shit's so old, bro. I, I know it's that old. That shit is so old. I mean, I that know. was what. 98? Maybe I'm not aware of some laws, so explain it to me, but can a person's background be a reason to search or detain them? What does that have to do with the traffic stop? All right, okay. that's fine. I have not done anything. What did you put me on for anyway? Just because I'm, I'm distracted driving when you bit down. Uh, and I didn't bend down. In the lane. I haven't been drinking. I'm not on drugs, man. I'm so, so again, the, the whole thing. Also, just understand kind of my side of things, okay? I see a right. lane get veered over. Okay. Okay. I don't necessarily think that you're drinking. I don't smell oh, any no, alcohol no. on you, okay? No. You know. I get a thing of, okay, he's had some, yes, it's extended, it's from a while ago, yeah. but he's had some some history, yep. okay? My main thing, I paid my like I said, I just want to make sure you're coherent to oh, I'm definitely and there. all that. I don't think that you're necessarily doing anything crazy, no. but I do want to make sure that you're good. That's the reason why I'm asking. Andy. And you have every right to, to decline that, so right. just to make sure you, you don't you don't want to allow me to search the vehicle. Well, I mean, I'm trying to do it. There's no sense. Okay. Nothing in this bridge. It, it, it's a yes or no. No, it's no. I can't hear what you're saying. I'm sorry, it's a no, sir. No, you're good. Yeah. You got all these. I know. I love our new bridge. Just double check, though. You don't don't want me to search the vehicle. Uh, that's correct. You're wasting okay. my time. That's all. All right, I got you. The same type for me, okay? Okay. That's where the courtesy ends. The cop has been denied a voluntary search several times. And it seems to me he has no grounds to do it legally. But as you can see, he's gonna get his way. Sam, go ahead and step on out with me, okay? For what, sir? Because I'm telling you to step on out with me. I'm asking you why I'm being okay. asked. Okay, because the, I am a certified police officer okay. in the state of Tennessee. And okay. the Supreme Court has ruled that if I have you step out of the vehicle, you have to comply with that, okay? Yeah, for a carry pad or something. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing any of that. Right now, I just want you to step out of the vehicle so uh, we can talk, can I, okay? Can I get your supervisor out here? Because I am not I'm, I'm recording this. I will get your supervisor out here, but I, I have not done anything there. wrong, man. And I only because I, I feel like you're retaliating. I've not done anything wrong. If you feel like I'm a threat or somehow or another. I got you. So here's the deal. The reason I'm having you step on out is you told me you're not on probation, but yet you're on probation. Oh, so I'm on probation. Yeah, you said probation. I asked if you were on probation said, or it parole. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't okay. matter. So, I mean, but my, here's the reason that I'm... I'm asking that stuff. That's, I, I'm almost off. That's 10 years. I got I got, I got you. You're on probation right now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. For what? So that I can talk with you, okay? Seriously. You can talk to me right here where I'm at. I, I'm not refusing okay. nothing. I, right. I got rights. I don't know. Okay, now I'm, I'm telling you to, to get out of the vehicle. Write in the comments, would you search this man? But from a legal standpoint, uh, it seems to me that the cop is exceeding his authority. And of course, uh, the man could have stayed in the car if the cop just wanted to talk. Phone right there, okay? I am going to pat you down because you've had some history with aggravated assault and whatnot. Yeah. You're on probation. No. I want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. I do not, man. You don't have any weapons on you. I do not. Put your phone down right there, okay? All right. No, I'm just... Your phone can be sitting right there, but I need your hands right here, okay? Okay. You're not going in handcuffs. Okay. 
spread your feet apart for me, okay? That's fine. You got anything on you? I do not. Okay. Like I said, I just want to go get my... I'm trying to get a hold of this information. Good idea. What's going on today, man? Nothing. Don't go get a haircut. Who brought it to this point? He said uh, I was a little distracted driving. Okay. Usually when... That's where the video cuts off. But I think we've seen uh, the most important thing to discuss. And I suggest we move on to the less fatal incident for today. Jarvian Hudspeth was shot by a Shelby County Sheriff's Office deputy after the deputy approached his car and tried to stop it from leaving the scene, according to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. The body camera video shows the deputy stopping a white two-door car in a residential neighborhood and walking up to the vehicle. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. Put your hands right there for me. If you Google information about this incident, you will see people demanding that the police officers uh, be punished. And uh, I'd like to discuss this situation with you. This guy had nothing on him. He wasn't charged with anything, but he tried to run from the cops. Is that enough to warrant a shooting? I'm just gonna patch you down. Hands, up, hands on the back one. Appreciate it. Just want to make sure you ain't got nothing on you. You ain't gonna try to do nothing, all right? As the officer told him to sit back in the squad car, Hudspeth then walked back to his vehicle and got inside. Hudspeth hit the gas and the deputy jumped inside the vehicle, holding on. Don't, don't get back in the car. Hudspeth was then trying to kick the deputy out of the car. That's when the deputy fires at least one shot, killing Hudspeth. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss. And anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the thanks button. This channel exists only because of you. After about 12 seconds of driving, Hudspeth appeared to push the deputy out of the driver's side with his foot. The body camera rolled along the ground for a bit and ended with the lens facing upward. The deputy was taken to the hospital in critical condition. 